So essentially, uh, my idea here is that um, you can get fiberglass almost anywhere that you have ports. And as such, you can also find satellite dishes almost anywhere. And so that's one way that you could make a parabolic dish that's pretty powerful. Um, something like this probably has the equivalent of about 500 watts, so about like a microwave, more or less, in full sunlight conditions. Um, so essentially, I, I, I still am working on this prototype here, but um, and I need to build a frame, but you're going to be able to get a really nice uh, sort of concentration of sunlight on it there. Um, now I also am looking for uh, portability as a primary factor. Um. Okay, so I'll continue to talk about this a little bit here. Uh, like I said, portability is a primary factor um, and I'm using satellite dish as the mold. Um, and this is just basically fiberglass. Um, so I'll show you the mold here in a second. But essentially, uh, my idea is that if you're in India or Ecuador or anywhere in the world, you can get HDPE, which is high density polyethylene. And you can also, so those are really abundant uh, in trash all over the place. And the other thing too is that you can probably find a satellite dish. Now the HDPE is really easy to uh, work with and it's actually relatively non-toxic. And so, um, and it, was, it should be pretty easy to fabricate. So I'll put a playlist of the uh, videos that I like that show HDPE um, and then you can essentially use something like this which is a template um, to give you a really precise focal point which will give you a good uh, parabolic um, reflector. Now the other thing too is that uh, it's you're gonna have to build a frame <laughs> uh, but you could probably just do that with nuts and bolts and you could do this basically for free so more or less. Um, the other thing about the reflective surface, you know, you can get mylar, so that's not free, but you could also find uh, soda cans uh, and use that as your lining. So this was just a little thought experiment, and I hope that it helps someone design or figure out how to use uh, parabolic uh, cookers in third world areas where you might not necessarily have the uh, resources available. Hey guys, so here's just a quick example about uh, how a satellite dish uh, works as a mold. So essentially, um, this was a prototype, didn't really pan out, uh, carbon fiber, uh, super expensive but kind of cool. Uh, but uh, essentially, if you just sand everything really smooth and then wax it, uh, that makes a nice uh, surface for your mold. Here you can see that failed attempt there.